And I'm taking this going into 30. Everything I say I'm going to do, I'm going to be a man of my word to myself because that's only going to build up my own confidence. What is up, y'all? Wagwan for the one time. What's cracking? Topic Tuesday, man. A lot of you guys have requested. And, you know, I love Topic Tuesday. It just allows me to speak freely. I'm turning 30. Damn! This year, man. October 2nd. It's crazy how the time has flown by. And I just kind of want to reflect, update you guys on life and just kind of like personal things that I I really don't talk about online. You know, we don't really have the vlog channel running in full effect. I don't have a choice but to get back to it. And I'm really excited, man. I think over these last few years, as you guys have noticed, there's been a lot of growth within me personally. And I think that's what it all comes down to, man. If you're not evolving, there's something wrong. Like you should always be reprogramming in a sense. That's kind of how I put it. So Let's just start from the beginning, right? So the top of this year, I started my first ever kind of job, W-2. And the reason I did that was I just wanted a little change of pace. So I've been creating content for the last 10 years. Everyone is always asking, Mike, what do you like? What do you do for a living? What are you doing outside of YouTube? And that's literally what it's been. It's just been social media. I've been doing social media full time since 2016. Somehow I leveraged towards the end of college an audience, you guys, to be able to pay my bills and do a lot of really cool things over the past few years and kind of change my perception of just life and money and the opportunities that I've had have just been amazing. But just like anything, everyone wants to be a creator. Everyone wants to be a doctor. Everyone wants to be an NBA player or whatever, right? You get burnt out. Everyone goes through it. Cause I just feel like us as humans, man, we, we get bored. When you're doing the same thing over and over, you've been working a, the same job for years and years, you get burnt out and you want to try something new. So I went to go try out this new nine to five, my first, actually I still, to this day, I still don't have like an official W-2. I'm, I still don't even count it. I've never had an actual job. That was my closest thing to kind of having a boss. And you know, it was cool. It was nice to be able to get a consistent paycheck for once in my life because on YouTube, you never know what you're going to get. Your income fluctuates. You know, one month I could make $1,000. The next month I could make $100,000. It's, it's really crazy like that. Granted, I haven't had a 100K month, but I've had some like pretty cool, crazy months that are just unbelievable working with brands. And I just realized the amount of effort that it would take for me to put into any other job I could really just pour into my own self and there's really no limit to income, right? And you guys know I like the whole trading aspect too. I've been doing that, I'm still developing a strategy and learning because at the end of the day, I've realized all I want is freedom. And, you know, I'm venting about all this because, you know, maybe you feel the same, right? Maybe you relate to me in some aspect. Yeah, you might not be a creator, but, you know, we, we still bleed blue. We still go through the same experiences. One thing that I've realized is in life, man, it doesn't matter where you come from, who you are, what color you are. Like we all go through the same things in different ways. So that job didn't end up working out. And here I am back full time on YouTube. And I think it was one of those things where I just needed to try something else to realize how lucky I am to be able to plan my own schedule and live on my own time and be on my own means and not answer to anybody. But with that comes a lack of security, right? You don't know what you're making unless you get a year long brand deal, which I've had those before, but it really comes down to what you put into it. And obviously I have an audience, you guys, much love. So I know in years, years upon years, I've always said, Hey man, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Like I'm in my own way. I am literally my biggest, what's the word? Like object. I'm blocking myself from greatness. And I, I know a lot of you guys can relate to that. I've been in my way this entire time. And I think that's, that's the cool thing about life. Sometimes you need to try other things to realize what you have is great. And hopefully it's not too late. Right? So with me turning 30, all this stuff that's been going on, man, let me tell you some life changing stuff is happening. I just, I can't believe it. 
I still feel like I'm 21. I still feel like I'm the 18 year old kid unboxing sneakers and getting my first package from Adidas. And I was like, this is, this is amazing. I made it. I remember when I first got a $300 check from YouTube when I was in high school and I thought I, I made it like I'm rich, bro. It's those little milestones that you, you tend to forget about and take for granted as they become like a recurring thing, right? When you get your first pair of sneakers, it's, it's the best thing ever. You're cleaning them. You're putting them in the box. You're taking press. You're just taking care of them. As your collection grows, brands start sending you shoes. You start throwing them all over the place. Uh, that pair can be a little dirty. I got like 10 more. It's just, it's just like anything. You get a new car at first. You love it. You in there bumping music and it's like, yeah, yeah. And then before you know it, you want a new car. It's never enough. It's constant chasing, right? It's hilarious. But with this video, I wanted to like hold myself accountable. I wanted to be able to go back and watch this video and make sure I achieved every single one of the goals that I talk about in this video. And number one is fitness. If you guys have been following this channel for a long time, you guys know I had a fitness channel. I'm just so sick of telling myself I'm going to do something and not doing it. It made me go back to experiencing this nine to five of why is it when a boss tells you to do something or your teacher says this assignment is due by this date, you make sure to bend over backwards, do whatever it takes to have it done. But when you tell yourself you're going to do something, you're going to lose weight, you're going to start lifting, you're going to eat healthier, you're going to make YouTube videos, you're going to follow up on that new hobby that you really want to do. You don't do it. Like we go bend over backwards for strangers and people who don't care about us sometimes, but we don't follow through on our own word to ourselves. Like, Why is that? To me, I think I've just gotten so tired of telling myself I'm gonna do something and not doing it. And I'm taking this going into 30, everything I say I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be a man of my word to myself because that's only gonna build up my own confidence. You see, it's one of those things where when you tell yourself you're gonna do something and you slowly just let it slip more and more and more, you're not a man of your own word to yourself. And in turn, before you know it, that completely destroys your confidence. And for those of you that are younger, man, I, I just hope you get something out of this in terms of the things that are important, right? And to me, you have to be fit. You have to be, man. As fit as you possibly can get. Get in the best shape you possibly can. Take control of your life. No longer are we going to sit here and tell ourselves tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. No, it's tonight, man. And just to show you guys an example, around January 1st, I set out for a goal to just just the simplest thing. And it was to get at least 10,000 steps every single day. And I haven't missed 10,000 steps since January 2nd. It's just those little things, right? I read this quote that said, it's a shame for a person to, to grow old without, without seeing the beauty and the strength that they are capable of. Even going back to what Kobe said, once I made a deal with myself, it's non-negotiable. I'm not negotiating with myself. Yeah. The deal was already made. The deal was made. When I set out at the beginning of the summer and said, this is the training plan I'm doing, I signed that contract with myself, I'm doing it. Mm. You know, and throughout the that process, you'll start talking to yourself like, man, I gotta, I think I need to, maybe if we, nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, this is non negotiable. Yeah, non negotiable. <laughs> yeah. I truly think fitness is key to success, guys. So if this is something that has been weighing heavy on your mind, let's get it. By 30, I'm dropping 20 pounds. I'm in good shape now, but I wanna be ripped. There's no, there's no reason that I'm not ripped besides me being completely lazy and shoving food in my mouth all the time. And in turn, truly, the fitter I get, the more successful I will become. I already know. Discipline equals freedom if you guys have not heard that. Another huge thing is financial foundation. I wish I would have known about this in my 20s. I'll definitely be talking about this more and more, guys, because I just think it's so vital. Because because whether people want to admit to it or not, we love to spend, we love excess. You can have all the shoes in the world, the beautiful setup, all the camera gear, everything, the nicest car, the watch, the ring, everything, right? But if you have no money in your bank account, you're broke, you're fucking poor. You're in debt, it is crushing, guys. Literally crushing, crushes your soul, crushes your motivation, you feel like, there's no way out. I really always love to talk about credit with you guys and that takes so much discipline. If you can leverage it right, yeah, it is good, but it, when you slip and fall, these banks will crush you. As soon as you can, man, eliminate all debts because what this does is it allows you to take more risk. When you don't owe anyone, you can risk anything. Now, if you're broke as hell right now and you have no debt, 
Don't look at it as, oh, poor me. You can always make more money. But the dope thing is you don't owe anyone. You're not in any debt. You're at an advantage. Would you rather be someone that looks like they have a lot of money, but they're in just massive crushing debt? Or would you rather be just chilling in your paid off car? You know, you might be struggling to go get a Chipotle bowl, but you can make more money. I take the struggle, no money, but I can make more. Debt is paralyzing. Stay away from it. And I guess the last point that I wanted to mention in this topic Tuesday was I got so caught up in always thinking that when I get to this point, I'll be happy. When I get to this point, I'll be happy. When I get to this point, I'll be happy. When I get fit, I'm going to be the happiest man ever. When I get this money, I'm going to be the happiest ever. When I get 600,000 subscribers, I'm going to be the happiest ever. That's never the truth. You get there and you realize it's just a part of the journey and you got to just keep going. But in the meantime, you need to be happy in your current moment. You need to start living happy now and understanding that wherever your goal is, wherever you want to be in life, you got to refocus and figure out who is it that I need to become to get there. That was one of the best things I ever heard. This couple saying they would go to these homes and look at these nice cars and they'd sit in them walk around the homes. And instead of saying, oh, I can't afford this or how can I afford this? It was more of who do I need to become to have this? And you can look at that in so many different ways. Oh, I want to get to a million subscribers. Okay. What do I need to do? Who do I need to become to get there? Plain and simple, a consistent content creator. It might not happen in a year, it might not happen in three years, but it will happen. Apply that to every aspect of your life. It's funny looking back at things. Like I always thought to myself, I always used everything I bought as like a next level of motivation. You know, when I got a nicer apartment, I thought, okay, this is gonna make me work harder. When I got a nicer car, I was like, okay, this is gonna make me work harder. Oh, when I'm here, I'm gonna be happy and I'm gonna work harder. And all those like weird materialistic things just honestly took away my freedom and my peace. And it's like, I'm going backwards in the sense of, yeah, I love nice things, I always will. But the freedom to be able to create and, you know, be happy and peace of mind and just enjoy what you're doing outweighs any and everything. So yeah, man, that's that's what's been going on with me. <laughs> that's kind of how I'm feeling with everything and really what I'm looking forward to. With this fitness thing, I have about a little less than six months. My birthday's in October to lose. I would imagine I'm about 200 pounds right now. I probably need to get down to like one 80. That should be a breeze if I just execute. I don't want to do this fast. This is no like 30 day lose 30 pounds type challenge. This is like a legit focus, work hard, lose weight the right way. Same with like my financial foundation. It is setting up these retirement accounts, funding them, being able to save, trying to be in the moment, trying to just enjoy and be happy and grateful for the position that I'm in and just taking it day by day because that's really what it comes down to. But you got to have a plan and you got to execute. But that's all I have for Topic Tuesday today, guys. Let me know what topics you'd like for me to talk about in future videos down below in the comments. You guys never do it. Let me know some topics, bro. It could be anything, literally anything. You can email me. You can hop in the Discord and give me topics. I feel like I'm, I'm leaning into why I call myself Mike the Compass. <laughs> I was thinking about starting another like channel, which I don't know. I've been really liking these live streams. I feel like I finally got the, the setup for it. So I might just do like a mic live channel just to throw clips on just because I know this is a sneaker channel, but honestly, I'm gonna do whatever I want. I mean, like y'all say, just, it's all about being consistent. I'm tired of like being a squirrel, like, oh, I need to do this and I do this. Like, I just want everything to be on one or two channels. But let me know you guys' thoughts down below. Thank you so much for listening. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Run it. Sneaker life. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, a sneak a hey, Wagwan. Yeah, man, we jamming. <laughs> Wanna jam it with you?